My name is Pat Roquet. They call me the Rockstar Transformation Coach because I help people rock their business and their life and get out of overwhelm. And I like to say, oh, look, Donna's streaming too. I like to say that I help people grow really fast without selling their soul or losing their mind. And what does that exactly mean? That means that my background is in marketing. So I started my first entrepreneurial business in 1988, which was a really, really long time ago. And it's called Business Boomers. And I've been a freelance marketing director for all kinds of companies and a keynote speaker and a coach for almost 30 years. But when I turned 50 a couple of years ago, I had pretty much a midlife meltdown. I lost my biggest account. I lost basically most of my income. I was in a hormonal nightmare. It was really quite crazy. And long story short, I uh, started rethinking how I do business and realized people really needed help, not just marketing help, but more importantly, they needed help with figuring out their gifts to the world, how they shine, and why in this crazy competitive world do people really want to work with you? So there's a hundred marketing coach uh, consultants, there's a hundred speakers, there's a hundred million coaches, there's a lot of all of what we do. None of us are totally unique, quite frankly, but we are very much special in our own unique way. So my goal is to help people figure out what is your why, what is your real gift, how do you make that shine, who are your ideal clients, and who do you really, really deserve to do business with? So I think at the end of the day, my husband tells me there's two things. He said, I'm a master connector. And he said, I know how to rock a room like nobody else. And what does that mean? It means that I pay really close attention to the things that touch people's hearts, to the things that make them tick, and to the things that help them grow faster, smarter, better. So this call and this um, broadcast is for you if you are, first of all, you have to be a go-giver because I don't hang with selfish people. I'm not about selfish people. And my concepts don't work if you're constantly, intentionally making it all about me. So let's get that out on the table. It's for you if you are an executive or an entrepreneur. You can have your own business or you can be working in another company. But at the end of the day, you are trying to rock the five facets of a brilliant life, which means how do you juggle your family, your fun, your fitness, your finance, and a fabulous career and still keep your head together? I don't want people who, I used to work like a dog and not feel like I was getting farther ahead. It felt like I was working harder and harder, yet not necessarily making more money. So if you feel like you're overwhelmed and you're doing too much and you're pulled in too many directions, but you know in your heart that it's time to stand up and have a real transformation, you're here and you wanna go here, this is the call that's gonna help you get there. Um, why do I talk about my new coaching program and my mastermind? Well, Rock On Success is all about you rocking your business and your life. And when I think back about some of the most important learning I ever had, it happened in these think tank kinds of moments. So I'm going to share with you, we're going to do this in two parts. We're going to talk about secrets to mastermind and you can do this whether you mastermind with me you create your own mastermind i help people learn how to build their own mastermind so i want you to make sure that the time you spend following here is valuable i'm going to teach you everything i know right now about joining growing building participating in a mastermind because i'm all about efficiency i want you to kick butt and have a great experience if you're going to spend time with me i want you to walk away from this call with a good piece of focus with smart action item or next best move and i want you to feel psyched pumped and energized if you can't sleep that's okay get your notepad out and write away or type away but i promise that this is going to be one of those moments where you feel like oh my god she gets me and it's time and i'm going to put my hand up and say yes and figure out what has to happen next i'm going to gift you that again whether you choose to move forward with me or not is not the point the point is that your time is valuable, I respect that, and together we will grow. We're gonna think out loud together, we're gonna put our heads together. And why is it important now? Well, guess what, it's August. It's actually 
into August. And that means we've hit the halfway mark. So let me ask a question to everybody um, on the stream because I can see all your comments and thank you for giving me those shout outs. Let me ask you something. It's August. So the first half of the year has gone by. Are you feeling overwhelmed or are you feeling overjoyed? So if you have totally, totally kicked butt and you are so far ahead of goal and you know where you want to be and it's all falling in place and you're really good and you're a 10 out of 10, do me a favor, give me a hands up, a shout out. Let me know that that's working, that you are completely 100% on top of your game. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, you can do me a favor and let me know that too, because I can see the comments and we can share them all together. Uh, ladies on the line, people on the line, anybody feeling particularly overwhelmed or overjoyed? Anybody having a really great first half of the year or anybody have a specific thing they want to work on the second half of the year? Oh, I see questions. I see them. So, oh, I got a comment here that says, I am putting in more hours and feeling like it's just not worth it. I'm exhausted. How do I stop constantly chasing everyone everywhere and feeling like I'm getting nowhere? Oh, here's another one. Someone else said that they are overwhelmed. Um, when you're overwhelmed, does it make you exhausted? Are you feeling frustrated are you feeling like there's got to be a better way and you're not exactly sure but you feel like you're this close to an answer um glory is really excited i'm psyched about that vicky welcome to the line um join on in and continue to share and ask questions while we go through with facebook live i can actually see people so somebody just said their year is just starting in july and that is really cool so i'm going to give you a gift right now my first gift is for you to actually tell yourself i'm cool with this we're great and we are starting fresh so i want you to forget about the overwhelm for just a minute and i want you to think about the fact that today remember that old commercial today is the first day of the rest of your life well i'm going to give you that gift it really is your moment and we're going to do this together i'm going to help you get from inertia or from lagging behind to moving forward somebody said it makes them feel almost paralyzed like they can't get moving and i promise you we can get you moving if you trust me and listen and think with your heart and take some smart action let's think about it i'm going to talk you through why and how we're going to get you out of overwhelm i promise this is going to be a phone call that's going to be worth your time so that being said um if you haven't seen it already, I did do an email and I posted it on a LinkedIn blog, but Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, who's one of my idols, he's just an incredible, smart, snarky business coach. And he talked about the fact that it's August, folks. So whether you're, you know, most people are not totally psyched. And even if you are, you deserve to take a vac vacation. You deserve to take a deep breath. But I do truly want you to think about are you ready to dust the sand off your feet, stop getting so distracted by what's happening outside, and start thinking about ways to actually process and focus so that what I want you to do is focus. So when you're here with me, I want you here with me. I want you paying attention. I want you not distracted. I want you to listen because I've got some really good nuggets. And when you are with your family, having dinner, at a movie, watching TV, whatever it is, please be with them. Be with them. Don't be in one place and be thinking about another. I want you to live in the moment. That's a really important way to get started. Hey, G, important way to get started. So I want you to have, we've just done two things. I've given you the gift of we're going to start fresh right now, no matter where you're at. And I'm giving you the gift of being present. Be in the moment. Be focused on what we're talking about so that it can actually start helping you faster. So that's the Gary Vaynerchuk. If you haven't seen it, it's on my page, but look at his August video. It totally kicked me in the butt and I hope it shared the same for you. Um, I started to say why we're doing masterminds. So masterminds came, they're not new. They're not a new concept. I didn't create the idea at all. Masterminds I traced back among other things to, uh, I call myself an apostle of Napoleon Hill. Have any of you, do you believe or follow or know about think and grow rich? 
It's a famous, famous book about success and about mindset and about the right kinds of activity. And um, Napoleon Hill goes back to say that masterminding has a really deep, long history up to and including, check this out, Henry Ford, as in Ford Motor, and Einstein used to mastermind together. Isn't that cool? Gianna, you didn't miss anything. You're, whatever you're here for, you're here for. We're good. This is going to also be recorded, so there'll be a replay available, guys. But um, the mastermind concept came from way back. So can you imagine Henry Ford said once, you know what? If I gave people what they wanted and what they asked for, I would have built them a faster horse. Have you ever heard that? I think that is a fabulous, fabulous concept. And Henry Ford also went on to more or less say that he wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. He didn't have all the answers. So Henry Ford and Albert Einstein actually were part of a mastermind together, among others. Can you imagine the energy and the interaction and the stuff that went on between Ford and Einstein? And my guess is it may have been somewhere near here because I know Einstein was from our area. But anyway, long story short, Mastermind power is the spirit and the energy and the experience of more than one person. When people come together, they become more powerful than any one of us working individually. They always say you're supposed to surround yourself. You're a reflection of the um, five people that you're around the most. Well, imagine if you had the ability to be around some really, really awesome people who had really great ideas and you could share a common spirit and a common go-giver energy. I, that's important to me, but I don't want to put clones together. I don't want two or three or five or six or 12 of the same people in the same mastermind. Actually, part of the joy is to have assimilation. So you get to actually learn from different people who have different experience so that when we go through, I mean, Einstein, uh, excuse me, Napoleon Hill calls it economic value of shared learning. I think that is a really, really awesome concept. So the distinct economic advantage is perfect harmony. So I'm going to read this to you. He said, like-minded go-givers yield distinct economic advantage and shared advice, collaborative learning in perfect harmony. He said, even Gandhi used to participate in masterminds. This form of cooperative alliance has been the basis of nearly every great fortune. Would you like to have a great fortune? Give me a thumbs up or some love on my little Facebook Live. I think that that's got some huge interest. At least it does for me and hopefully for you too. So one is economic advantage. The second important part of a mastermind is that there's power through shared learning. So once again, Collaboration means you get to learn faster and more confident decision making. Can you imagine if I've had my business, uh, I've been a business owner and an entrepreneur for almost 30 years, 28 years to be exact. And I don't have all the answers and I don't know everything and I'm not great at everything, but I've made a million mistakes. And imagine if you got to completely shortcut your learning and learn from not just my mistakes. And I don't want you, I do a lot of private coaching and group coaching, so it's really good and I really do help people, I swear. But I think the concept within the group coaching, I like to have a hot seat opportunity where people can share because imagine if you took my 30 years and let's say Gianna's 30 years and somebody else's 10 years, we literally will put together 100 or 200 years of really amazing business experience and life experience and be able to collaboratively learn together. So can you picture the shortcut learning that you can enjoy when you've got all that mindset working together. So power through shared learning is great. Number three is deep connections with amazing people. So mastermind my group, it's scheduled. There's brainstorming. People have to raise their hand and swear on picky swear that they're gonna be coming to the table. They have to be willing, you have to be willing to give and to share as much as you are to take. And there's a lot of time for both because you get to build relationships. This is an opportunity that I look to as almost your ability to create a surrogate board of directors. And why is that important? Can you imagine if 
you had a safe haven place. It's completely private. It's not going to be broadcast on Facebook Live like this is. But if you had a safe home where you knew that you had accountability and you had work to do and you could ask questions, your wife, spouse, or loved one will not be able to judge you because they have an emotional attachment. So I can ask my spouse, my husband questions, and he's brilliant and he's wonderful and he's helped me with my business. He's It's amazing, but... Sometimes I need to ask questions and there's an emotional repercussion. I mean, I think you know what I mean. Emotional repercussion. So sometimes it's good to be able to build relationship and have a non-emotionally attached sounding board to be able to help you conquer fear. We'll talk about things like fear of success or fear of failure. They're both really important. There's stuff you can't ask your boss or your colleague at work. Let's say, I don't know, and you don't have to admit it on Facebook Live, you can message me privately, but I know that some of you on the call are in careers now and looking to maybe transition into your own or you work for a company, but yet you still really need, we all need to build and own our personal brand. Having a personal brand means that you get to work with people that you know, like, and trust, and that they are buying or collaborating or working with you because they love you, they like you, they respect you, they value you, your interaction is good and positive and uplifting. That is not necessarily hanging on the heels of your corporate, because what happens today if you work for, like I used to work in the pharmaceutical industry quite a bit and I had Genentech and Roche, I had Roche as a client in New Jersey and, and then they merged. So now all of a sudden the Roche brand, for most of it, not all of it, but for the large part, my part, disappeared. And they now had to absorb under a different organization. And it was really painful to watch the people in there go through this whole identity crisis. If you build a personal brand, if you do the right thing, if you treat people well, if you learn and grow together, your personal brand is your best insurance policy. So I'm gonna teach you how to build a following and a tribe, regardless of what business or industry you're in or your role in it, so that you get people who want to be with you, to work with you, to collaborate with you, to protect you, to help you think out loud. They can be the one to give you that um, devil's advocate they can be your rah-rah cheerleader. They'll be the one you can cry on if your goldfish dies or someone else. Um, that's what we build here. So we talked about uh, economic advantage. We talked about power through shared learning. And we talked about deep connections with amazing people. The next one is about candid feedback. You need to hear it straight. We all do. And I mean it in the nicest of ways. And when I coach people, I always ask them permission for transparency. And I also make everybody sign a confidentiality agreement so that they know that nothing that they say will be shared beyond our conversation. And the same thing would go for a mastermind group, whether it be mine again or someone else's. You need to know that there's confidentiality, but part of it is you need to be able to do candid feedback. So in a mastermind, at least in mine and maybe others, you come to the table with your challenges. You come to the table with your wins. I want to know what is kicking your butt today. I want to know what you did. If you pulled through and did what you promised me you were going to do last time we talked, a week before or two weeks before, whatever it is, are you sticking with your commitments? Are you having time management problems? Are people responding? Have we rehearsed perhaps a new introduction or a new way of looking at things? And now perhaps is it resonating and are people digging it? Or are you getting cold shoulder, eh, eh, wonky face? Are people not jamming with it. So those things are going to happen, but it could be a matter of you wear too much cologne. You know, when we do these in person, sometimes it's you wear too much cologne. I'm allergic and I've got a migraine. I don't hear what you're saying because all I'm hearing is my migraine banging in my head. Or you speak so softly or online or on the phone and I can barely there's a lot of things we all need to be told. So candid feedback is going to be huge and it will be huge in a respectful, loving and kind way, but you're going to get the straight shot. No BS, no pussyfooting around. Life is short. We have a limited amount of time and we want fast action. So candid feedback, fast learning. Yes. All about it. Um, the next is about role playing in a safe environment. So 
I have a lot of coaching clients who come to me because they're in perhaps a strategic sales type of a role. Maybe they're in network marketing. Maybe they're in other industries. It's not just one industry. But the trick is that my role playing is, again, in a safe environment. I've been in sales. I've been a coach, a manager. I've been the bottom and the top of the totem pole and everything in between. So we do a lot of rehearsing your introduction, your master storytelling. There is a bright and smart way for you to nail your hello introduction out of Chamber of Commerce, your 90 second introduction. Anybody here, I know there's people that are watching right now that have participated in some of my workshops or coaching around this. This is one of the most important pieces about growing your business because when you network online or in person, getting that story nailed down, knowing who you are and being able to efficiently tell the story makes all the difference. So role playing in a safe environment so that you can get feedback, you can watch. We're gonna do some of these meetings in mine anyway on uh, remotely, but we're gonna have a shared screen. So you're gonna be able to talk and look at each other. And do you remember to smile while you're speaking? If I was just on the phone, if I didn't have Facebook Live, I promise you, I would still smile while I spoke because that is the way to project energy and fun. And life is short, why don't we just have fun? I mean, we could have fun making tons of money together. That's, that's the way I'm thinking about it. Let's use the body language. So we're gonna be able to give role playing and feedback. So that was number five. Number six is accountability. Ah, your mastermind needs to keep your feet to the fire. No BS, no excuses. If you tell me it's gotta be done, it's gonna be done. If I tell you it's gonna be done, I'm gonna stick to my word. Oh, Gianna just reminded me of a wonderful saying. We were um, doing one of the Rock Your Public Speaking workshops. So in fact, an advanced workshop where I actually teach people how to build their signature talk, their big speech. I teach you how to do that. Um, and one of the folks in the room was so cool. She actually talked about a resting bitch face which we now politely put resting B face, but we all know what the B stands for. And she said that people often accuse her of having a nasty biatch face, even if she doesn't mean it. She's not feeling negative or angry or anything like that, but she, she tends to be one of these people with the look. I don't know if it's a puss or a, it's just resting bee face so remember not to do things like that again the interaction the feedback the accountability sticking to the commitment you will have a schedule you should have a schedule of when you're meeting what's going to be expected so that you can actually at the onset map out and plan out these are not supposed to be time sucks folks in fact it's just the opposite um, a good mastermind will make sure that you are efficient and accountable so that whatever time you put into them, you get a lot of value out of it. It's not busy work. It's meant to be smart sharpening of your skills of the ax. It's gotta be stuff that cuts you faster, deeper, farther, better than you could alone. Otherwise, don't waste your time, don't waste your money and stay home. Go, go flounder on your own, be miserable, and, and that's okay. You can choose to do that. You can choose to do it. But accountability, at least on my clock, stick with it. And you, you'll be amazed at how that actually does impact people. Um, and the other one is about shared wins. So you know what? All ships rise with the tide. You ever hear that saying? I love that saying. And it's really about collaboration. I love that saying because it's so much fun to be able to grow together. Um, I talked about unselfish go-givers in the very beginning. And I, again, I think that the spirit of collaborative giving and the collaborative wins means that we teach you and help you work through so that let's say your negotiation skills or your pricing or your language that you're using. I've got a lot of friends here from our... Um, Christian Michelson's group and that's awesome and some of it's around 
people are unsure if they have clarity on what they're supposed to be saying. Some people have unsure about their clarity about their niche. Some people have unsure, no clarity about their personal brand. Some people have no clarity or not enough clarity about their pricing. We're all going to come to the table with different challenges, which is okay, which is kind of cool, but we're going to help each other work through them. And what ends up happening, you will find is that we actually grow together so that we all win and we actually become two things often. It doesn't have to be this way, but if it's done well, it will be this way. We become each other's surrogate board of directors and we become each other's friends and we become each other's colleagues and we also end up becoming each other's affiliates. It doesn't have to be, it's not a hard written rule, but when you invest the time in supporting and helping each other, and again, this is my mastermind or anywhere else, my group or anywhere else, when you hang with cool people who believe in that same spirit of being a go-giver and they bring quality to the table, and you can see it when you're in a group. Can't you tell there's always a couple of people who really, really stand out, who give thoughtful consideration. They ask thought provoking questions or they provide really, really, really good, sharp, useful, meaningful answers. Does anybody here know people like that in their group or try to be that person in a group? Those people will shine. And what happens is, when you start to see the caliber of conversation, because when you bring your A game to the table in a mastermind, you're going to get everybody else's A game. And that then transfers, trans, transfers, excuse me, way beyond the time you're in the mastermind. So I'm going to give you an example. This is one of the reasons I did this. Even way, way, way back, um, I belong to the New Jersey Association of Women Business Owners. It was the first meeting I went to when I went to the county courthouse and got my little certificate in 1988 with my little seal and all that manual stuff, my little printed certificate. And I went to this women's networking thing and we did a group that became a mastermind. And to be able to sit around a table, now I was newer in my business, but to be able to sit around a table and share out loud because some people were much farther down the road in owning their business, but I had just come off of working. I had done some really cool internships and I had had some really cool experience working on some major, Jack LaLanne was one of my clients. So when I tell people I know how to do health marketing, I'm not kidding because I worked with Jack LaLanne. Jack himself, yes. So it's pretty cool. So all these people that are health coaches and saying, oh, I'm stuck. I don't know how to differentiate it. Nobody knows it's me. There's too many of us. BS. There are a lot of you, but there's still a way to brand yourself. I know how to do it. I've done it. I started with Jack LaLanne in the mid 80s and I'm still doing it today. Whether you're in direct sales or not, we can grow your business. But my point is somebody else may have been in business 20 years more than me or 10 years more than me and you're gonna have the same thing in this group right but the trick is everybody's got their gifts and their skill set so maybe somebody around the table had been really really good at prospecting or maybe somebody was really really good at closing deals maybe somebody was really really good at contract negotiation with corporations with legal regulatory stuff and maybe somebody else was a really creative person who had the gift of flowy words or maybe a beautiful way of presenting or telling a story or maybe graphically inclined or maybe somebody's a techie guru who loves all that techie stuff and it makes my hair on fire but you love it and then we work together and then we work on your clients and my clients and now all of a sudden everybody's making a ton of money our clients are happier than ever it's shared responsibility it's good delegation but it's an inexpensive way to grow a team think about that are you growing your business with a team do you have all the right people in place so if you don't have all the right people in place, a surrogate board of directors could be a pretty interesting model because they're going to be a sounding board. I'm not saying don't hire your own lawyer. I'm not saying don't hire your own CPA. You need those things in place. Don't get me wrong. But think about having 
experience to share with people who've kind of been there and done that and yet differently from you. It's pretty, pretty cool. So we talked about shared wins. So of those seven things, were those guys, were those things helpful for you guys? Give me a little thumbs up or a little love. Any questions right now? Because I'm reading on here. Any questions from the, the phone line? You can raise your hand now and I'll be happy to take a question. I'm going to switch gears in just a second. Everybody's good. I see. Oh, I'm getting lots of love. Good, 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 good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and hopefully I've earned it. I, I'm not about blowing sunshine up somebody's skirt. I'm really about, I want you to be better when you get off this phone or off this Facebook Live, please promise me you're going to be better than when you got on it. I need you to walk away with rock solid, concrete, kick ass, I'm going to slay this energy and a couple of good thoughts in your head. I want you to have action items. I want you to think about who else deserves to grow with me, for me. Um, you don't have to have all the answers. That is the gift. When, if you want to learn how to build your own mastermind, I can teach you that. But for now, you can come and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our mastermind. So I hopefully I've answered most people's question about, and I've been weaving in the questions that I've been receiving into this, but let's take a look at what you might expect. Cause I am launching a rock on success mastermind. It starts on Thursday. It is going to kick some butt. It is VIP invitation only. We are not looking for a large group of people. I'll be quite honest with you. I've already rejected people because if you're not coming to the game with your a game, don't bother knocking on my door cause I'm not letting you in. And if I find out that you're not playing all in, I will ask you to leave. And I'm sorry if that sounds a little bit harsh, but I'm going to count on you to give and to receive. 